All right, Tyler Spear of Loyola, 16.43 or so today, fifth place in the Elite yeah. Schools race. Yeah. Full run, you know how to run the course. What's your philosophy going into this race? Going into the race, uh, I mean, like I've said, every every other time before a race, just kind of to keep yourself in the lead, kind of try and go up there with the um, top guys and get a good time. Um, I mean, I felt like hills were kind of my things. Where I live, it's a lot of hills, and I'm sort of used to that stuff. Um, had some experience with the full run before. So, I mean, I kind of felt like I knew what I was doing. Um, I wanted to kind of get out there and make a name for myself, show everybody that I was here. Um, I think I did that well. I mean, going out with Bull Run, I mean, just kind of just get in there, making sure your splits are even, so you cannot go out too fast, otherwise the dip and all the other hills will just really kill you. Yeah, so, like you said, you're trying to make a name for yourself. What you did today, going sub-17 on this course, and believe it or not, it's hotter than the athletes think today. It's 80-some and humid. Definitely nicer earlier in the day. What's it like now that you kind of are a seasoned veteran, you, you've done the hill work, you prepare for courses like this, and now that you're a junior, an upperclassman, what, how's your mindset change when you go out and run races? The, change, the mindset change is really just from kind of, as opposed to finishing the race, to kind of just as placing as high as I can. Um, cause I mean, uh, after a spike shoe, I got kind of called like a surprise. I, I don't want to be the surprise anymore. I kind of want people to say, hey, look, Tyler Spears in this race, like you can expect him to be up top. Um, so, I mean, that's kind of been the mentality change, is kind of going from expecting to just kind of finish to expecting to kind of try and do my best and get as well as the uh, highest place I can get. And everyone's saying the dip, the dip, beware of the dip. Yeah. Is it the hardest part of the course? What's uh, the hardest part of the course by your estimation? I don't feel as if the dip is the hardest part of the course. I feel it's, it's they're all mini dips. I mean, it's not just one big hill and then a whole bunch of flat things. It's a whole bunch of inclines and then you're running down a hill and then up another one and, and that the turns and especially getting out with such a big race and everything. Um, so I mean, the dip is a huge thing. It's really gonna kill you in the end of the race. But, um, I mean, it's not just the dip alone, it's all the things. Now, Loyola Blakefield, each year is a competitive team, always fields a good cross country team. What, what other invitationals are you guys going to this year? We're, uh, as far as I know, we're not doing anything in the near future. We're uh, planning to be out at Georgetown Prep, and of course, we're going to have MIA championships. Um, we're looking around for something to do kind of in the space between now and Georgetown Prep. Um, we have a lot of dual meets coming up, so we kind of wanted to get in shape for that. Um, other than that, our next biggest thing is Georgetown Prep, and then we know that we're going to be going to the Jesuit Championships in New York, and then, of course, Nike way, way down the road. So a sharp contrast from Bull Run to Georgetown Prep, two yeah. very different courses. Yeah. How does your time and your performance today leave you feeling for the rest of the season? Um, I mean, it's a bit of a confidence builder, kind of showing that I can run with a lot of the upper guys, because we had a huge group going through two miles, going to two and a half miles. Um, other than that, I mean, it's just kind of showing that I, I can prove that I can sort of back up what I'm thinking. Um, I mean, it's just, I want to go out there, I want to do as well as I can, I want to try and win it, of course everybody does. Um, it's just kind of going out and knowing that I have the confidence, knowing that I have the ability and that all the haze in the barn and that I've done all the training that I need to do to be able to be competitive. There you go.